Hi Skyhawks, this is Thomas Kearney, A or Vice Principal, and today is Tuesday, June 1st. It is June, guys. We've only got like 13 school days left. The last day of school is the 17th, which is just crazy. And that also means if you have schoolwork, get it in even if it's not done. Oh my gosh, guys. Like, yeah, we've been leaning on late, um, like late work, but uh, the last day of school, that's about as late as we can get. Now, we do have a few other announcements for you. And one, you should all be familiar with yearbooks. Get your yearbooks orders in. Weirdest year ever. The yearbooks this year look awesome. And they're going to be coming out super soon. So $30, pre-order them in the office. Cash check or credit. Also, I want to stress to all of you that the library is now closed for new books to be checked out. And to avoid any late fees or anything being attached to your record, make sure any books that you have, you get them back in as soon as possible. We need those books for next year. And this month of June is LGBT um, uh, Awareness Month. And so I'm going to cover some figures. And this one is Alan Turing. Alan Turing is actually was British and he uh, is a mathematician um, and he is largely credited with being like the father of like artificial intelligence and um, computer science just because of how instrumental he was into the creation of computer programs and making computers what they are today. Like, he basically pushed the field to stop using people to do so much um, data work and start having people to do it. And one of the most noteworthy things is during World War II, he was instrumental in breaking Nazi codes. In fact, uh, estimates are that if, he, if his programs and his hard work during World War II had not been present, the war could have stretched for at least another two years. So this guy, critical to literally stopping Nazis. Um, but in the 1950s, um, it came out that he uh, was gay and had been his whole life, obviously been closeted and not told anybody, especially because of the time. And at the time, the British government demanded that either he go to prison or he chemically castrate himself, which basically means he has to take things that make him um, sterile. He can't produce children. And he went along with it, but less than a year later, um, in his early 40s, he was found dead. And we don't know the cause. It could have been suicide, it could have been a lab accident, or it could have been um, murder by his own British government for fear that being gay might mean that he uh, reveals secrets on them. And it's a really tragic thing that the British government has since um, owned up to and accept the responsibility for. But uh, yeah, it's something that happened to a lot of homosexuals uh, in Britain back then. So sad, sad case. Okay, for super fight. Today's super fight, we've got Spider-Man versus Deadpool. So the two people in the Marvel Universe who cannot stop talking are fighting for each other. Uh, obviously, Spider-Man's got agility. He's got his webs. He's got super strength. Like, he definitely has more strength than Deadpool. There's no question there. Um, the climbing on walls. The biggest advantage he probably has over Deadpool is his spidey sense. Um, in the sense that he can sense when danger is about to hit him and know how to react in time. Also, Spider-Man is a super genius. Deadpool, not really a genius. Like, I guess he is in combat. Um, but Deadpool's a crazy. And Deadpool is fully aware that this fight is right happening right now because Deadpool knows the reality that he's in. He knows he's a comic book character. And obviously, Deadpool has insane healing abilities. Um, these two have fought in the past, though often they work together more than um, apart. So who would win that fight? Uh, make sure you're voting below. And we have Spider-Man Miles Morales versus Thor. 
So Thor, God of Thunder, <laughs> and one of the strongest people in the Marvel Universe. And Miles Morales, Spider-Man, he uh, has all the powers of Spider-Man, though significantly less training. And he also can turn himself invisible. And he has this venom attack that can like shock people. I, I don't know how much that'll work on Thor, but we'll see. It's all up to you guys in how you vote. I can't wait to see what you come up with. That's the announcements for today. You all have an excellent day.